afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel so uh we're gonna do something a little bit different this afternoon we're heading over to uh my buddy ryan's grandpa's and uh he's got about a 200 year old barn that is kind of a landmark in the area and uh it's got a slight issue uh it had one of its main beams that broke at some point this spring and it's uh kind of on the verge of collapsing so if we got one bad windstorm we'd probably lose that barn so uh, we've got the bobcat on the trailer and uh, we're going to go over there and we're going to try to pick that beam back up get it back in place get the wall pulled back over and uh, get everything secured with some cables we're going to cross some cables inside the barn and uh, we're going to get a post put underneath of that broken beam and uh, get it raised back up to where it belongs. Um, so, see what happens. I'm gonna get some video, and uh, hopefully we can save the barn. It's gonna be kind of a little bit dangerous because of the, the state that things are in right now, but uh, once we get some stuff braced up, it'll be safe again. So, uh, let's uh, get at it and see what we can get done. So here's what we got going on. We've got this beam here that's broke and you can see that supports the ceiling right there. And then we also got this beam that came out of its pocket up there. So uh, we need to get that drawn back up where it belongs. We need to get this back up where it belongs and get this wall pulled back in because that door won't open all the way up. So that wall is leaning out. So it's all uh, hand hewn ax cut beams, really old barn really cool barn so that's why we want to fix it before we lose it so it's even got the old style wooden pegs in it all we need is uh, the barnwood builders here to help us be cool if mark bow and johnny jet walked in here and said hey we're gonna help you today but i think we're on our own with this one so uh we'll get her fixed up get her straightened back out first we gotta get this disc out of the way so we can get the bobcat in here i want to get the forks under there pick that up get a post in and that'll secure that well now we're going to try to pick this up so we'll see what happens Okay, so now we're going to uh, cut us a post here at 84 and 3 8 so that's what fits real nicely. We got our steel battery operated chainsaw. Chain's a little doll. Must, Mom must have been cutting cardboard with it again or some shit. Oop. There we go. So now we can stand that up under that beam.
so now that we got this side braced up, I'm going to take the bobcat and I'm going to lift this beam up. And then we're going to use some cables and turnbuckles to draw it back into that pocket right up there. So let's see what happens. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to put some turnbuckles at the ends of this beam because this end is still in its stake or in its pocket with its um, with its wooden peg, which I have a wooden peg here to show you. This is what they put these barns together years ago was with uh, these, uh, I think you call them mortise and tendons. I think that's what they call them. I can't remember. But uh, they made a pocket, they made a corresponding tongue on the uh, beam, and they stuck it in the pocket, and then they drove these uh, pins through, these wooden pins or pegs or whatever you want to call them, through there to hold them together. So uh, this is some old school um, woodworking here, some cool shit. So anyways, what we're doing is we're going to make sure that we secure that beam in its pocket, and... Uh, by doing that, we know that we can pull on it and get this one shoved back in that pocket and draw that wall back over towards here so that the doors work the way they're supposed to. So uh, it's going really smooth so far. We haven't knocked the barn down yet. Ryan's happy with the progress, aren't you? Really happy. So uh, make sure you go see them this summer at Yellow River Farms. They will have some produce. They'll have uh, sweet corn. So uh, make sure you go check them out and make sure you go to their fall festival coming this fall and check out the big tire swing. If you remember the videos from the big tire swing, uh, it was a real hit last fall and it'll be a big hit again this fall. So check that out. Extend. using the boom on the uh, crane on the service truck to shove the barn over a little bit. Okay, so pushing with the service truck crane got us tight up there and it got us to the point where we just need to pick that up and move it over a little bit and we'll get it up there in that pocket and then we'll have her made. This is going real easy now. Ryan's going to tighten that turnbuckle up a little bit right there and then uh, I'm going to move it a little with the bobcat over. I'll pick it up a little farther and then we'll push it a little more. See if we can tighten that turnbuckle some more.
that's going in. It's going in real nice. How are we going to hold it so you can tighten it again? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out when the time comes. It's not easy standing on the ladder with a phone videoing and doing this with a screwdriver. You got your safety harness? Yeah, I do. I have all my proper PPE. Okay, so we run a chain come along down to the front of the bobcat, and I, oh shit, the bed, that was scary. Keep going, Dad, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's moving rough and all. This is kind of scary, but it's working. Keep going, keep going. Got another inch or two to go. Well, we're going to start dragging the bobcat forward. Okay, let's stop right there. Do the rest of your turnbuckle. Yeah, I'll do the rest of the turnbuckle. Well, there we go. We have got the building stabilized, or barn stabilized, so it uh, will not go anywhere. Put a uh, turnbuckle and cable here, up there, up there, and then we tighten this one up over here that was originally in the barn. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit over the week, and then uh, we're going to come back next weekend and we're going to do a little straightening on this wall because that wall's a little dipped out and uh, we might do a little bracing over here but we're going to let the barn relax for now because we've pulled on it pretty hard and uh, getting things straight and there's a lot of popping and cracking so we're just going to let it relax and then we'll come back next weekend we'll do a little more like i said some more bracing some more cables, more turnbuckles, and uh, get her done. But as of right now, it's safe. It ain't gonna fall down. So if a windstorm comes up, she'll she'll stay standing. So uh, that turned out real good right there, and uh, it should be secure. So what we might do also is we might drill up through here and uh, put some lag bolts or something like that. So anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one. And uh, stay tuned because there's a lot more exciting stuff to come. And uh, we'll see what else we get into. So thanks for watching.